Welcome to another exciting episode where we delve into the world of aviation. Today we're setting our sights on the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICEO, and its intriguing collection of 19 annexes. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is ICAO? Well, it's an agency of the United Nations that sets the standards and regulations necessary for aviation safety, security, efficiency, and regularity worldwide. The rules of the road, if you will. And these 19 annexes, they're the heart of these regulations, each covering a specific aspect of aviation. So without further ado, let's embark on this journey to understand the ICAO annexes and their significance. The ICAO annexes are a collection of international standards and regulations that govern the aviation industry. These 19 annexes, each covering a unique aspect of aviation, serve as the guiding principles for air travel around the globe. Let's take a quick flight through each of them. First, we have Annex 1, which deals with personnel licensing. It sets the standards for the training, testing and licensing of aviation personnel. Then there's Annex 2, Rules of the Air, which lays out the rules for conducting flights, ensuring safety and order in the skies. Annex 3 is all about meteorological services, emphasizing the importance of weather information in air travel. Annex 4 provides aeronautical charts, which are vital tools for navigation. Annex 5 establishes the units of measurement used in aviation, ensuring consistency across borders. Annex 6 covers the operation of aircraft, setting the guidelines for safe and efficient aircraft operations. From Annex 7 to 10, we delve into issues ranging from aircraft nationality and registration marks to aeronautical telecommunications. Annexes 11 to 15 take us through air traffic services, aerodromes, search and rescue operations, and aeronautical information services. Lastly, Annexes 16 to 19 cover environmental protection, security, air traffic management, and safety management highlighting the industry's commitment to sustainable and safe aviation practices. Each annex, in its unique way, contributes to the safe, orderly, and efficient conduct of flights worldwide. They are the invisible forces that keep our skies safe and our journey smooth. Now that we have a general overview, we'll dive deeper into each annex. Annex 1, Personnel Licensing, sets the global standards for aviation personnel. It's the cornerstone of aviation safety, ensuring that those who take to the skies are well equipped with the necessary skills and knowledge. It outlines the requirements for obtaining licenses across various aviation roles, from pilots and air traffic controllers, to aircraft maintenance personnel and flight operations officers. This annex ensures that all aviation personnel meet the stringent criteria set by the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICO providing a uniform level of competency worldwide. Moving on to Annex 2, Rules of the Air. This annex guides the conduct of flights internationally. It sets out the general rules and procedures for air navigation, ensuring that all aircraft are operated in a manner that promotes safety and efficiency. It covers everything from visual flight rules and instrument flight rules to air traffic control procedures and emergency protocols. This annex essentially serves as the rulebook for the skies facilitating the smooth flow of air traffic globally. Lastly, we have Annex 3, Meteorological Services for International Air Navigation. The weather plays a critical role in aviation, influencing aircraft performance, flight routes, and safety. This annex provides guidelines for the provision of meteorological services, ensuring that accurate and timely weather information is available to support safe and efficient flight operations. It covers areas such as weather forecasting, the provision of meteorological data, and the use of meteorological information in air traffic management. As we can see, these annexes lay the groundwork for ensuring safety and efficiency in aviation. Moving on to the next set of annexes, we have Annex 4, Aeronautical Charts, Annex 5, Units of Measurement, and Annex 6, Operation of Aircraft. Each of these plays a crucial role in the world of aviation providing pilots and aviation professionals with essential tools, guidelines, and standards. First up, Annex 4, or Aeronautical Charts, a pilot's best friend. These charts are like roadmaps for the sky, guiding pilots through the vast expanse of airspace. They come in various forms, each designed for a specific purpose. There are en-route charts for navigating during flights, approach charts for landing, 
and area charts for complex airspace around major airports. They detail everything from topography and airspace classes to radio frequencies, all color-coded for easy interpretation. Next, we have Annex 5, the Units of Measurement. This annex standardizes the units used in international aviation. It's the reason why, no matter where you are in the world, altitude is measured in feet, speed in knots, and distance in nautical miles. This uniformity is key, ensuring clear and consistent communication between all parties involved in a flight's operation. Finally, we delve into Annex 6, Operation of Aircraft. This annex lays down the law for aircraft operations, outlining everything from pre-flight procedures and in-flight operations to post-flight checks. It covers operational safety measures, performance operating limitations, and even the documentation required on board an aircraft. Annex 6 is like a comprehensive manual, ensuring that every flight operated meets the highest standards of safety and efficiency. In essence, these annexes provide the necessary tools and guidelines to operate aircraft safely and efficiently. They form the backbone of aviation operations, ensuring that every flight, whether it's a short hop or a long haul journey, is carried out with utmost precision and safety. Next up are annexes 7 to 15, covering a broad range of topics from aircraft nationality and registration marks to aeronautical information services. Starting with Annex 7, we delve into the world of aircraft nationality and registration marks. This annex establishes the principles for nationality marks such as the N for the United States or the G for the United Kingdom, and registration marks that uniquely identify each aircraft. Next we have Annex 8, which involves airworthiness of aircraft. This annex outlines the standards for the design, manufacture and maintenance of aircraft to ensure they're safe to fly. Annex 9 is all about the facilitation of international air transport, ensuring that the processes at airports run smoothly and efficiently. It covers everything from immigration and customs procedures to health and quarantine measures. Moving on to Annex 10, this one is all about aeronautical telecommunications. It's split into six volumes covering various aspects of communication, from voice communication systems to surveillance and collision avoidance systems. Now let's dive into the world of air traffic services with Annex 11. This annex lays out the standards and methods for air traffic services, aiming to prevent collisions between aircraft both on the ground and in the air. Next, we have Annex 12, which covers search and rescue operations. It outlines the international standards for the planning, coordination, and conduct of search and rescue operations to ensure the swift recovery of those in distress. Annex 13 is a significant one as it deals with aircraft accident and incident investigation. It provides guidelines to ensure that investigations are conducted thoroughly and impartially to prevent future accidents. The next two annexes, 14 and 15, deal with aerodromes and aeronautical information services respectively. Annex 14 provides specifications for designing and operating aerodromes, while Annex 15 ensures the timely availability of essential aeronautical information. These annexes are integral to the smooth running of air traffic services and the provision of essential information to aviation personnel. Lastly, we have Annexes 16 to 19, which deal with environmental protection, emergency procedures, and safety management. These annexes are integral to the functioning and sustainability of the global aviation industry. Annex 16 is all about environmental protection. It sets out the standards and recommended practices for aircraft noise and engine emissions. These guidelines help to minimize the impact of aviation on the environment and contribute to the development of greener, more sustainable aviation technologies. Moving on, Annex 17 is dedicated to security safeguarding international civil aviation against acts of unlawful interference. It's all about ensuring the safety and security of passengers, crew, ground personnel, and the general public. Next, we have Annex 18, which deals with the safe transportation of dangerous goods by air. This annex is crucial because it provides the necessary guidelines for ensuring that hazardous materials are transported safely and efficiently without posing a risk to people or the environment. Finally, Annex 19 focuses on safety management. This annex introduces a proactive approach to managing safety, requiring airlines and aviation service providers to implement a safety management system. It's all about identifying, 
assessing and mitigating risks before they can escalate into bigger issues. These final annexes underscore ICAO's commitment to environmental sustainability and safety in aviation. They highlight the importance of mitigating the environmental impact of aviation, ensuring the security of all aviation activities, safely transporting dangerous goods and proactively managing safety risks. These annexes demonstrate that in the world of aviation, safety and sustainability are not just aspirations, but fundamental requirements. So why are these ICAO annexes so important? Well, these 19 annexes are the backbone of international aviation, a global rulebook, if you will. They set universal standards and recommended practices to ensure safety, regularity, and efficiency in international air transport. From personnel licensing to meteorological services, from aircraft operations to safety management, these annexes cover all aspects of aviation. They also play a crucial role in promoting sustainable practices in aviation, helping us all fly into a greener future. That wraps up our deep dive into the ICAO annexes. Remember, these regulations make it possible for us to fly safely and efficiently across the globe.